Hello, everybody. Welcome to Little John Yarns. I'm Alicia. Today, I'm doing something pretty wild and crazy, something I've never done before. I'm having a crochet game show. As you can see, I got my little wheel behind me and my <laughs> cloth. So I don't know how everything's going to go. I hope this works out as planned, but I got my trusty new cup with me. If you like my cup, you can find all about this down in the description box below. My friend sent this to me through Happy Mail. Her um, company's called Orchard and Bees. It has my name on the front. And this has wine inside. I think I'm only going to have about 10 rows of wine maybe for this live stream. I can fill up the 25, but we're just going to do about 10 rows of wine. Okay, so as usual, everybody, how you're doing? Where are you from? What time is it? What's the temperature where you're at right now? Right now, it is 2 o'clock near Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. It is a beautiful day. It's been raining a lot lately. It's not raining right now, so I'm pretty happy about that. It's a little bit humid. And for this, we're giving away a lot of items. So I'm just going to tell you the rules on exactly how everything's going to go. So I have everything written down. Rule number one, if the answer request has multiple answers, it must be answered all within one comment. So if I say, uh, how many type of uh, dogs are there? If you say Doberman, Pinscher, and Copper Spaniel on two different comments, it doesn't count. It has to be all within one comment. Number two, whoever answers the um, question correctly first is the winner. The winner is chosen through my chat room view. Some chat rooms may differ. And also, anybody who's a moderator, you are allowed to play this game too. Don't worry. You're all included, guys. They know nothing about the answers of any of these questions. It's all about who can answer the question quicker. All right. Rule number three. If the clicker lands in between one of the prizes, I just get to pick what the prize is. Three, the winner must email me at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. My email link is going to be down in the description box below in the rule part. And number five, whatever, whoever wins, you have to respond through email back to me on August 31st, before August, well, by August 31st, if that makes sense. All right, guys. Oh, and to help offset, I thankfully for all of your super chats over the past couple of weeks, I've been putting money aside to do all of this shipping. So if you would like, you can also donate through Super Chat. <laughs> you can see the link uh, down below right here. You see a little dollar sign. You can donate through Super Chat if you're on desktop. And if you're on mobile, you can donate through Super Chat through the little dollar sign below. And if you do, this little bubble machine will go off when you do donate. All right, guys. We're going to begin this whole game. Oh, and if you are out of... This applies for U.S. and anybody around the world if you're playing. If the shipping cost is too much for me, I'll just uh, give you $5 via PayPal account. Okay, the first one. Let's spin. You probably can't see this, so I'm going to get a little bit closer for you. Let's see what you guys are going to be going for. You are going for my ultimate pattern bundle. All right, my ultimate pattern bundle has 40 patterns of all of my, uh, some of my videos that I've done from YouTube. So let's see what you guys are going for. I was hoping it was gonna land on yarn first, but let's see the first question. Oh, before we get the question, I would like to do, I'm sorry guys, I don't mean to interrupt this contest. I would like to do a timer check because Faith, not Facebook, YouTube has a time delay. I'm gonna clap my hands. And when you hear me clap my hands, just type some, type clap in the comment box or don't type a clap put a uh, exclamation point in the uh, chat section ready guys i'm going to clap my hands okay there is a 13 second delay so I know if it takes you guys a while on my end to see what the um, answer is, I know there's a 13 second delay. All right, now we are ready for the very first question. You guys are going for the ultimate pattern bundle. The first question is, you are creating a flat circle of double crochet. The first round has 12 stitches. How many stitches are in the third round? 
I'll read it again. You are creating a flat circle of double crochet. The first round has 12 stitches. How many stitches are in the third round? Well, we have some winners already. Let me pull it up. Here we go. Oh, this is gonna be hard to find it. There's a lot, you guys commented so quick. Here we go, wait, here we go. The first one that pops up on mine for the answer is Reggie, Regina. Let me write your name down. Congratulations, you won the first prize on my very first game show. I think I'm gonna do this more often, but actually have people on the show. So Regina, I'm gonna need you to email me at Little John Yarns and tell me exactly what you won. So I can send you that uh, pattern bundle. Regina. Pattern bundle. All right, we have you off to the side. Let me scroll down back to where we were. Wow, there's a lot of comments going on. Oh, I need to unhighlight Regina's. There we go. All right, guys, I'm gonna try to spread this out over the course of like 45 minutes so we can get this all going. All right, you guys excited for the very next question? All right. Oh, so you guys, don't look at the messiness of my room, but I have all like the prizes down in the boxes down below ready to like pull out to so show you exactly what it is. So exciting. All right, so next, let's erase this pattern bundle so you don't get that one again. This eraser is horrible. <laughs> Let's put something else up there. We are, how about this? Have you guys ever seen my color scope? I lost my marker. Color scope. If you are, I lost the top of it already. If you're anything like me and you're color incompetent and you can't seem to put stitch colors together, this thing was, was like a lifesaver to me. You ever seen a kaleidoscope? This is exactly like it, but it's called a tutleidoscope. It takes the images of whatever you put in front of it and it creates its own little uh, crochet pattern. We're gonna take a quick little photo shift so you can see exactly what this is. Oh, I thought I had this. Well, actually, you know exactly what this is. You'll find out when you get it in. Color scope, so. Let's just spin and keep going. That's what you're here for. Oh, look, it landed on a color scope. So that's, that's, you guys have a chance to win. All right, are you ready? I'm just, everybody stop commenting for a second. I'm gonna put something right in here. I'm gonna type something, little John, S-E-T. I just put set there so I know how far to scroll back. Question number two, you create a gray swatch for your pattern, but the swatch is bigger than a suggested size. What should you do to match your gauge to the recommended gauge? I read it again. You create a gauge swatch for your pattern, but your swatch is bigger than the suggested size. What should you do to match your gauge to the recommended gauge? I already see it. Who was it? Wow, you guys answer so quickly. I have to scroll up, scroll up, scroll up just to see who's the winner. Here we go. I see my word set and we have Epic Space Dorito, hey, welcome back again. Epic Space Dorito, let me write your name down. Where'd I put my pencil? Congratulations, you won the color scope. Epic Space Dorito. And I'll put this with yours over here.
Okay, most of the items won during this contest. If you know anything about me, I'm like the crochet gadget queen. I like to buy and review all type of crochet gadgets. So these are items that I've purchased and reviewed for my tutorials for you guys to watch. So they will come in open packages. So some of the things that I'm sending. Also, about a year ago, I was on this big, huge yarn sale where I went to this place. All yarn was 50 cents. So therefore, I stuck so much yarn into my bag. And a lot of this is a little bit of novelty yarn that I'll be giving away. So you'll be seeing that coming up next. All right, congratulations, Everett Garrido. Don't forget to email me at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. All right. And also, guys, don't forget, you can also donate through Super Chat. That will be very much appreciated. So when you do things like this, I can have more actual giveaways because this is a little bit exciting. I've never done something so big like this. So whew, let me get another sip. Cheers to you, Epic Dorito. Congratulations. Okay, guys. Let me scroll down. Let me put set. Let's see. We already got the color scope off. I should get like a paper towel to erase this. This is the eraser that came with it. Oh, we have a super chat. Thank you so much. Here we go. We got a super chat from Patricia. I got the bubbles that's going off. Thank you. <laughs> and we are going to give a cheers to Patricia. Cheers. Help me get down some of the rows. Hmm. All right. And what number? Where's my marker? There it is. We have what number? I don't have up here. We got that. I don't see a number four. You guys don't know what that is. And neither do I. I don't remember. Found my marker. All right. Let's give this a big spin. Number one. Let's see what's in my number one package. Oh, okay, here we go. This is a crystal palace yarn. What is this made out of? I don't know. Oh, Marina wool. You will receive three of these skeins cakes of yarn. You might notice some of these because they've been sitting in my craft room. I had to recake again. So some may look like this and some may look like a round ball. I just had to recake them again. So this is what you're playing for. This is question number three. Some Marina rule yarn. All right. Turn my questions back around. Number three, okay, one second. I want you to name this stitch. What is this stitch? Okay, I see we got some questions already answered. Here we go. Oh, that's, wait, wait, here we go. We have Mama J Way. Hey, you've come back before. Oh, I would have accepted houndstooth, dog's tooth, uh, or a puny poulet. I, that's French. I know. I just butchered that. So you just won. Three skeins of this yarn. Congratulations, everybody. Cheers up to Mama J way. So let's get down our uh, <laughs> wine drinks. Whatever you're drinking right now, let me know what you're drinking. 
I know everybody's not a wine drinker like me, but it helps me get me through my life. If you're having tea or juice or whatever, let me know. And are you guys enjoying this? Is this something like you would like to have more often? Let me know. All right. Oh, did I write your name and put it on the bag? I didn't. I just congratulated you and didn't write your name on the stuff. Oh, my goodness. I'm babbling. I knew I would do it. I lost my pencil, y'all. Okay, I could have used my marker. Here we go. A Mama J Way. All right. And yours go in a bag. So we're taking one off here. What are we gonna, this is just not gonna work. Does the finger work? Isaac Littlejohn! Isaac! Can you get me a piece of tissue from the bathroom? Yeah. Thank you. So I can get that off. All right, so we're gonna replace that number one with What's not up there yet? How about, I don't see number 10. Thank you. I probably didn't have to write that. I could have just left it with 10. We have another super chat donation. I see the bubbles going off. Who donated? My buddy, Lori Murphy. We're, let's see if I can get down to the comments. There she is. Thank you so much, Lori Murphy. Everybody give Lori Murphy a cheers. And thank you so much for donating. This is definitely going to help with the shipping. <laughs> Jenny Rupert, here we go. Jenny Rupert Crochet says, everybody's feed will be different. It's, is it totally fair? It's as fair as I can get it. Hey, at least you have the opportunity to have a chance of winning free yarn. So I'm sorry if it's not exactly fair. I did list that in the rules and description. It's from my view. So try to answer as quickly as possible and maybe you'll have, you'll win. You don't know. All right, so let's move on to the very next one. What are we playing for next? Oh, uh, okay. This one. I don't know. We I still have more stuff to go. This is for the itchy yarn. I'm sorry about this, guys. Let me show you what it is. Itchy yarn is number three. I did not know what to do with this yarn. This is 78% mohair, 13% uh, wool. It's 100 grams of yarn. You'll receive three skeins of this yarn. Let me see if I can show you a strand of it. I just didn't know what to do with this yarn. Do you guys have any type of suggestions? So whoever wins this, help them out. What can they make? And it's actually, it's not itchy, but it's just weird. But I didn't want it just sitting in my craft room. And maybe somebody else will like it. What do you think, guys? What would you do with this yarn? Let me hop down to the bottom. Here we go. Oh, thank you so much. It is fair. She's being super generous. It's a game, all of her expense. I'm grateful to have a chance to play. Thank you so much, Taylor. I appreciate that. Oh, somebody recommended like a scarf for this. That is pretty. Okay, so you guys ready? I'm just gonna type set in the comments so I know exactly where to scroll back to for the first winner. Set. All right, guys. Doot, doot. I'm sorry, give me a second. <laughs> All right, what, what are you looking at? What is this gadget? Yeah, what is this gadget? That's the question. Here we go. What is this gadget or what's going on in this picture? All right, let's pull this back down. 
Oh, and I see that we got a super chat. Thank you so much. Let's see who did a super chat. Let me scroll down. I'll probably never find a super chat with all these uh, good answers. There we go. Orchard and Bees. Oh, Orchard and Bees. This is the lovely lady who provided my uh, cup for today. She is the most excellent crocheter. She came to me. She's only been crocheting for maybe like a year and a half and has turned her little hobby into her own business. Make sure you check her out. Oh, another plug for myself. Forgive me. If you also like to turn your uh, crochet hobby into your own business, I have just now published a book just this week. It is called The Secret to Selling Crochet. That link will be down in the description box below. And if you like this, check her out. It's, she says, I will help with shipping and will be happy to add a free pattern code for all winners. Oh, thank you. Here we go. Shipping for which one? For what? See, you're going to have to like uh, instant message me because if you respond to a message on here, I'll never find me. So make sure you instant message me exactly what you mean. So maybe whatever you're saying, I can put you on the board. Is that what you're trying to say? All right. Oh, we have to find out who answered the question correctly. All right. What was the question? I already forgot. Oh, what was it? Here we go. Mm -hmm. Am I going to find the answer? This is tough. Where's my set question? Dog blanket. Oh, I found my set cut question. There we go. We had a cow, right? Know what? I think I'm going to have to give it to Robbie. I would, it's called a hairpin lace. That's what exactly, but it's also called hair loom or pin loom. All those, all those answers will be accepted. I'm sorry, I wasn't going to take weaving loom because that was a little bit too broad. But Robbie, congrats. Did I show you what you're going to win for this? Did we spin? Oh, yeah, for this yarn right here. So let me write your name down. I keep losing my markers and here it is. It always gets stuck to my butt. Robbie, reader, congratulations. So we'll put this in here. You are getting three skeins of this. What is it called? It is mohair, 78% and 30% wool. Oh, and 9% nylon of this wool. Congratulations. And everybody, cheers. And thank you for the super chat also. I appreciate it so much. Wow. I've been thinking about having this game show for a while now, but I wasn't exactly sure on how it was going to set up. This is all pretty much last moment. So I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. Oh, we are. We already up to 178 viewers. I think the most viewers I've ever received is maybe 200. Oh, and another thing while I was having this, I forgot to announce it when we began. It's because I've reached 90,000 subscribers. I never imagined I would have 90,000 subscribers. So if you guys are watching this game show for the first time, let's see if we can give me some more subscribers. I would love to hit 100,000 subscribers. So make sure you're clicking that subscribe button right now. So you guys ready for the next question? Number 10. What was number 10? Oh, we didn't do number 10. And I forgot to take off the itchy yarn, but that's okay. I didn't land on that. Number 10. Just one skein of yarn B yarn. There you go. This is what you're playing for now. So I'll put this off to the side. Okay, guys, I'm going to type set so I know exactly where to scroll back to find the answer. The first one to answer the question quickest will win. Set. All right, guys, pay attention. Well, we got a super chat, but I'll just let that super chat go for a second. 
Thank you so much, Kathleen. We are going to cheers you in about two seconds, promise. Okay. The question is, oh, I got to pull it up. One second, guys. Downloads. Where'd it go? Found it. All right. Where I'm at. What is this U.S. symbol? Remember, I'm saying, what is this U.S. symbol? What is this U.S. symbol? The first one to answer it correctly will win. All right, I think we got some answers already. Scroll up, go back to my set. Yarn over hook, she said, what's going on? I'm late to the party. I'm actually having a game show. I'm asking questions and you have a chance to win all type of yarn and crochet gadgets. So let's see, who was the first one to answer? Oh, I see it. R. Vanderberg, <laughs> congratulations. Yes, it was a treble crochet. It had two little slashes in the middle. A double crochet only has one slash in the middle. So you are gonna win this skein of yarn. Congratulations. And everybody, raise your cup and cheers. Mm. And I forgot I wanted to give another thank you. Oh, I scrolled too far. No, where'd she go? There we go. And I want to say thank you so much to Kathleen for your Super Chat donation. You can also donate the Super Chat if you're on your desktop. You'll notice a little dollar sign to the right or whatever side of your uh, screen. If you're on a mobile, you'll see a little dollar stream, dollar sign below you. And when that happens, the bubbles will go off and I'll know that you donated the Super Chat and I would appreciate it so much. All right. Let's see. We have to take off the last two. All right. So we did 10 already and we did itchy yarn already. We got to remove those off. You got to toss in a trick question. I have to toss in a trick question. What's it? Do you want to give a trick question for people? to do? Yes. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I'll see for that one. All right. We don't have. Oh, I forgot to put your name on it. Who's the last winner for this yarn? It was Vander R Vander something. I forgot to write your name down. I'll probably not find it again, but I'll put this in and that's off to the side. We are gonna load, we have a seven up there. Do we have a two? We have a two up there. Do we have a five? We have a five. We have a six, seven. We don't have an eight. We have a super chat. I hear that. Who donated via super chat? Thank you so much, Joanna. I appreciate you donating via super chat. My daughter in the corner just said, woo! Everybody raise whatever you're drinking to Joy right now. Joanne, thank you so much. And remember, anybody who's won during this live stream, please email me at Little John Yarns so I can find out your information to ship the, um, your items to you. Okay, we were picking what numbers to go on next. And I don't think we have an 11. All right, it's time to spin again. Let me take Joy's comment off. Where'd it go? I can't remove your comment. You always are stuck there forever. Thank you guys for being patient with me. There it is. Found you to scroll off. So let's see what we're playing for next. Number eight. What is number eight? 
Do, do, do. Oh, we have one, two, three, four. Four skeins of cotton Chanel yarn by Crystal Palace Yarns. Can you see it? Four skeins. So that's what we're playing for right now. All right. <laughs> Pat Jacobs. Wait, 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 wait. I got to put this up. Pat Jacobs, you got to be past 10 rows of wine. I am. What am I on? Orchard and bees, you're the word. Yes, I'm, I'm exactly at 10. Look at that. You're right. It starts off at 25. I'm exactly at 10 rows of wine. I better behave. All right, guys, you ready? I'm going to type set in the comments. Oh, I pulled up Ivy for set. If you guys are just getting here, we're having a crochet game show. Whoever answers the question first is the winner. Right now, we're playing for four skeins of Chanel cotton yarn. So I'm typing in set. So I know exactly where to scroll back to. What question? My phone is upside down. Mm -hmm. All right, this is a question. When you hold two strands of DK yarn together, that equals what while you're crocheting? You're holding two strands of DK yarn. What thickness of yarn do you have? One more time, two strands of DK yarn held together is what yarn weight? I'll accept two answers. Worst of weight in Aaron yarn. Let's go back to the set question. All the way up. Oh, we have a lot of, you guys are quick. This pops up so fast. All right. I see my set question. We have a winner. Congratulations, Affordable Crafty. Everybody give Affordable Crafty a cheers. You know what? I'm just going to leave the top off this bottle. Cheers. Congratulations. You just won four skeins of cotton Chanel yarn. So please make sure you email me at littlejohnyarns at email.com. My email. Oh my goodness, at gmail.com. I need to slow down on my rows of wine right now. So I'm going to write your name down and put this in the bag and you make sure you email me. Affordable Crafty. Are you guys having fun? I hope so. This is running smoother than I thought. I thought it'd be a little bit more chaotic. I thought I had to bring my husband in to help, but I think I'm controlling this all pretty well. All right, so I'll put your bag down to the side. All right, so let's see what's going on in the comments. Bobby says, learning, learning. This is an educational show. I didn't even think about it being an educational show, but I guess so. <laughs> Can you win more than once? Yeah, if you're quickest. You can win more than once. I should have put that in the uh, rules. Like I said, if you are a moderator, you're allowed to play. If You just got to be the quickest draw. Keep playing. Don't stop. Win twice. That will probably be better for me because I can shift to all one spot. Okay. My hair is getting bigger. It's starting to sweat. Okay. Let's see. Oh, Katie says, can you win if you're in the UK? Yes, you can. Let's see. I can't see where it says, but somebody wanted to know, why is this considered worsted weight? Just the thickness of it, it would be considered a thicker worsted weight. Uh, what is it when you put two uh, worsted weight strands of yarn together? I believe that's chunky yarn. I believe so. Hmm. Oh, Blind Stitch, is, uh, Blind Stitch is creation. She says, hi, Alicia, I'm late. Welcome to the show. I'm glad you made it. We still have a lot of stuff going on. I still have bags over here. 
I got 14 questions and I think we're only on question like six. All right. So, and guys, if this is your first time here, please subscribe. I'm trying to get a hundred thousand subscribers right now. I'm just at 90. All right. Next. Oh, wait, I should erase eight. I'm off. Is that the one we want? Eight and replace it with another number. Actually, I'm going to replace it with this. Have you ever guys seen the, uh, one of my crochet gadget reviews? This is my lit, lit gloves, finger lit gloves. They're used mainly by fishermen, but when you're crocheting, you can put them on your hand and it lights as you're crocheting. So if you have uh, your room is poorly lit, you don't want to bother somebody or vision impairment, you can have these lights to just help you see your stitches a little bit better. All right, so this I'm going to put up on the board. And like I said, these are all previously open because it was part of my crochet gadget reviews, but they're not heavily used because I only use them for my reviews. So let me put this up on a board. Is that written already? Nope. Lighted gloves. All right. Are you guys ready? What is number nine? Let me go into my bag of goodies. Oh, ooh, two skeins. Of yarn be yarn. Can you see? Isn't that, aren't they pretty? They're gorgeous. I'm trying to get it so it doesn't like uh, unfocus, get all blur in the screen. So this is what we're playing for right now. If you're just now getting here, the first one to answer the question first wins the prize. So let me put these back in the bag. What number are we on? We did. Well, okay. There are two main type of crochet hooks. Name the two type of crochet hooks. Can you see these good? Not the brand, but the shape. Yeah, don't say boy and Susan Bates. Oh, we got somebody who said it correctly. Oh, I think I forgot to put the set question. Oh, I think I tricked a couple people with the Susan Bates and boys. Oh, we got it. Bitch and stitches. She's oh wait, no, that's not it. Contour. No, sorry, bitch and stitches. I pulled you up too early. This is like one of them Grammy Awards, and I have to take it back. I'm sorry, bitch and stitches. That is not the one I'm going for. But it's close. It is. I'm going for inline and whoop. Where am I at? Here we go. Inline and tapered. Wait, 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 wait. I see it, I see it. It is Jennifer, tapered and in line. I'm sorry, bitches, stitches, I didn't mean to bring you up, but Jennifer, congratulations, good job. Let me put these back up. I'm gonna write your name and put it in the bag. Did I say your name right? Yeah, Jennifer, Jennifer. Where's the marker? Everybody give Jennifer a cheers. I think I'm gonna leave my wine alone for a little bit. So I can make it through this uh, <laughs> game show. All right. I'm going to see if Orchards and B sent me a message on Facebook real quick. Guys, give me a second. Message. Thank you so much, guys, for being patient with me. I techie trouble, but I keep making the blah, 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 blah. All right. I am happy to help add to your prize. Okay. She says, I'm happy to help add to your prizes. If you would like to give all the winners a code for a free pattern. So, oh, we are going to put up here a code for one of Orchard and B's patterns. So we are going to take off number nine. O and B. That's what I'll put up for there. 
thank you so much. And here we go. Here's a link if you would like to add your prize from the winner's email. Okay, I'll do all that extra stuff later. All right, congratulations, Jennifer. Woo. All right, so let's see. We still got uh, how many more questions? What question am I on out of 14? We are on question number eight. Woo we have 183 viewers right now. All right. If you're just now getting here, you just have to answer the question the quickest. Let's see, we're going to win. I forgot to take off the Chanel cotton yarn. Oh, we don't have any more of that. I'm sorry, guys. Boo, shame on me. I forgot to replace it with something. We got 11. We're going to put up 12. We'll respin again. I'm so sorry. Let's try that again. Oh, there we go. Orchard and bee pattern. All right. So that's what we're playing for. One of her patterns within her uh, Etsy shop. Her link is down in the description box below. So you guys ready? When making a granny square, how many stitches are in one cluster? When making a granny square, how many stitches are in one cluster? I'm not talking corners, just a cluster. Let's see what we got. Oh, I forgot to put my set question. Oh, we got it. Here we go. Let me scroll. Who was the first one? You guys answer so quickly. Oh, thank you so much. You guys set for me, TDSM19 and Jen Reeves. Thank you so much for set. Oh, that made it so much easier for me to find the person below me. And we have a winner, Patricia. Congrats. Did we pick out what the thing was? Yes, it was Orchard and Bees pattern. Congratulations. You make sure you email me so I can send you all the information for that. And uh, Orchard and Bee, we'll talk in the our messenger on Facebook about how to get the patterns to her. All right, thank you so much. So now we have to erase that off the board. Mm -hmm. Is there a five up there? No, just number five. Oh, I didn't write your name and put it in the bag. Well, I didn't have to put it in the bag, put it on the paper, Patricia Freeland. This is what I forget a lot. O N B pattern. All right, guys, let me take you off. I am going to type set. So I have my set question. Are you ready? So we're going to need to spin first. Well, I'll probably press set again just in case. Number two, what's number two? Ooh. This is glaze yarn. Can you guys see it? It's like a fuzzy. Let's see if we can get a strand. What would you guys use with this yarn? You will receive how many skeins of this? I know I have some more. One, two, three, four skeins, cakes of this yarn. So what would you make with this yarn? It's very soft. If I would make something with this yarn, I'll probably couple it with another yarn so it's easier for me to work with because this yarn you have to do a lot of feeling with. Does that make sense? Because you're not going to be able to see your stitches that well. It is pretty though. It's so soft. I always have a novelty yarn sitting around. It becomes like an art museum of novelty yarn. What'd you say? Okay, baby doll. My daughter's about to go to work. I don't wet. Watch your step. I don't get kisses. Goodbye. You just leave. You just leave. All right. Love you, sweetie. Bye. Be careful. All right. So this is what we're going to be working for. What would you guys make with it? Let's see. 
Oh, we got a blanket. Oh, a teddy bear. That's a good idea. And Deanna wants to know, is this going to be on your feet? Yes, this is going to be on um afterwards on replay. Everybody's saying teddy bear. I think that would make a very cute teddy bear. So somebody's going to be able to make a very cute teddy bear. Let's put this down. All right, guys. I am going to press set, S-E-T, so I know exactly what to go back to. All right. There are four parts of a crochet hook. What are they? You have to answer all on one comment. There are four parts of a crochet hook. What are they? There's this part, this part, this part, this part. What are all the parts of the crochet hook? There are four. Dun, dun, dun. All right, before I find the answer, I see a lot of people already typed in. There are, there is the point. Let me pull up this one. We have the point, throat, shaft, and thumb rest. I'll accept things like grip or something like that. Let's go up to my set question. I also accept like tip. There we go. Let's see. Head. Mm, multiple. Here we go. I'll accept head. Throat and neck. I'll accept neck. Uh, no, nah, that one was close. Thumb rest hook. Yep, that was only three. Hook grip shaft. Okay, remember there are four parts. We're looking for point, throat, shaft, and thumb rest. Hook grip shaft incline. We got hook. Neck grip handle almost. Wait, hook, throat. Thumb rest shaft, I'll go with that one. Shani M, congratulations. I'll take your variation. You just won. What did you win again? We're just going to call it the teddy bear yarn. It is so soft. So make sure you email me at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com so I can get all your shipping information. That information will be in a rule part in the description box below. So let me write your name down. You guys keep losing my marker. Channy M. Oh, okay. I think I'm ready for my wine break now. Congratulations. And remember, guys, you can help offset this shipping a little bit. If you would like to, you can donate through Super Chat. You'll see all the links around you with like a little dollar sign somewhere in the chat section. So I appreciate it. And when you do donate, the bubbles will go off in the background and make a lot of noise and it usually scares me. Hmm. Oh, let's hop into the chat. Oh, this is going excellent. I thought I was gonna have to put on a timer. This is going longer than I thought. Let's see, hop down to the newest comments. <laughs> uh, she said, I had no idea hooks had different parts. You know what? It's an education today, now you know. <laughs> we have some congratulations. Uh, there you go, everybody. Cheers. All right, guys. Mm. Ah, you ready for the next one? We need to take the two off. And what are we going to replace it with? Hmm, what number haven't I gotten? Dropping stuff. Is 11 up there? 11's already up there. 12's up there. 7's up there. 6 is up there. Oh, I think I'm running out of things to put up there. So now I'm just going to put one of my three patterns. We'll put the bundle back up. I'm running out of yarn. Bundle. All right. That one's for me. All right. So. 
Let me remove this last comment. Let's see what we're playing for next. Number four, bag number four. What's in bag number four? Ooh. Two skeins. Some more yarn B. I think I got these on like a super sale at Hobby Lobby's last year. What do you guys think of that yarn? I think this is a chunky, uh, bulky yarn. Let's see. What is this? Uh, I don't know. I'm not seeing it, but it looks bulky. Beautiful. All right. So that's what we're playing for next. If you're just now getting here, all you have to do is answer the question quickest. There is no purchase necessary to this giveaway. All right, guys, for this yarn, let me type my set question. Hold on. All right, here we go. Oh, I forgot to bring up the picture of this one, bananas. Hold on, guys. Shame on me. Down a little. Thank you all for being so patient. All right, I finally got it. Here we go. All right. What stitch is this? Right here. What stitch is this? I'll give you a hint. The stitch is work from the left. If you're right-handed, the stitch is work from the left to the right. What stitch is this? Mmm, this is actually one of my favorite stitches to put around the edges of hats. It's super simple. Where's my set question? Ooh, I think I might have to double uh, check mine because I see one that's popping up. I might not know the terminology for it. Let's see. Oh, here we go. We got back to the set. Super cute booking. All right. Somebody said the crab stitch. I've never heard it called crab stitch, but I'm going to Google it real quick because I don't want to uh, get somebody wrong. Let's see. Crab stitch. I call it the reverse single crochet. Let's go on a field trip and see if crab stitch is right. If crab stitch is correct, Pat Jacobs, you'll win. But let's see if you're correct. I've never heard it being called crab stitch. I see a video. It looks like the reverse single crochet. So I've attached my yarn and I'm just going to put my hook in that same space and draw the yarn through and just chain one. A crab I love stitch Bella Coco, but I'm like, double I have to speed up so all her videos. In the US. So instead of working this way, like we would normally do, we're actually going to work our way back the other way. So what you want to do here is just place your finger onto the um, loop on the hook, just so that stays nice and secure. And you're going to insert your hook into that is the a reverse next single crochet. That you work in it. So it just looks like this. You're going to grab the yarn and pull that through, and then you'll have two loops on the hook, just like this. You're then going to turn your hook around, so twist your hook around, and then grab the yarn and pull it through. And yes. That's literally, all you have to do. Know what? So okay. Here we go. Pat Jacobs, you are the winner. And I see that we've got a super chat. Also, I'll get to your super chat in one second so I don't lose all the information for Pat. Oh my goodness, here's my marker. Pat Jacobs, make sure you email me at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com so I can get all your shipping information. Thank you so much, and cheers to you. Where's my wine goblet? 
And I see that we got a super chat. Who sent the super chat? Let me scroll down. I can't find it. Where are you, super? Oh, there it is. Thank you so much, Faith. I appreciate it. There's a cheers to you also. Hmm. The reverse single crochet is one of my favorite things to put around the edges of my work. I'm actually coming out with a brand new pattern this week. I put it on the edging of my slipper. Check this out. This is a great, easy, beginner-friendly um, friendly crochet pattern. It's just single crochets and the edging of reverse single crochets. So watch for that coming out next week. All right, so we got four gone. We'll just double up on some. I see a five over here. We'll put five right here. All right. Are we ready for the next one? Spin. Of course, it lands on five. Let's see what's in container number five. These are some Afghan or Tunisian crochet hooks. Can you see them? I have it all zip tied off, but these are super long. But I did do a review on, one of, on these in one of my crochet gadget reviews. I am not the biggest fan of these crochet hooks, but I did not want them to go to waste or get tossed out. So I figured, why not give them away for free? Free doesn't hurt anybody. But I do want to give you a warning. Whoever wins these hooks, the heads are very, can you see, flat, shallow. It doesn't have a neck. Uh, I love inline crochet hooks. It doesn't have that depth of the um, inline part. Does that make sense? But this is what you're playing for right now. Oh, right, gosh. Are you ready? For number five, for your own Afghan crochet hooks or Tunisian crochet hooks. All right. Let me press set. If you're just now getting here, whoever answers the question quickest will win. All right, set. My phone is always upside down. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, bananas, where'd I put it? Okay, guys, hold on. I had it right next to me. I thought I had everything set up. Two on me, but I got another skein someplace. All right. The question is, I want you to guess this brand of yarn. It's mercerized. It has a sheen to it. Sometimes it does tend to split while crocheting with it. What is this brand of yarn? It has a pretty much distinguishable like shape that's I've always noticed this brand of yarn has this shape. Let's see if we have some people who guessed already. What brand is this yarn? Oh, I see some answers. Let me see. Lots of answers. And the winner's chosen by my feed view, whoever answers firstly. Firstly, whoever answers first. I know it might not seem fair if your feed says something and mine says something else. But I don't know. Maybe be quicker to the draw. I'm just having fun and giving away free stuff. Let's see. You guys answered so quickly. Where is the set question? Oh, I see the sets. Oh, here we go. We have a winner. J Hook Crochet, a.k.a. Reggie. She is one of our moderators. Uh, there we go. I can't, I keep losing my pen, J Hook. Reggie, where is it? Congratulations. Reggie. I will put this in the bag. And you are the winner of these Tunisian crochet hooks. Congratulations, Reggie. And let me give you a cheers. And Reggie, and I would also like to say thank you so much for moderating 
all of my live streams, all of my moderators. I would like to thank you so much. You guys do this for free. You don't have to. I appreciate it. I'm glad one of you won. So that's great. So, okay. Whew. You all guys almost ready for the very next one? So what question number are we on? We're running out of stuff. So we did five. I just might have to spin like twice because we're running out of things. Or I can put pattern bundles. For the XSR, will be pattern bundles. Let's see what we're rolling for next. We have, we're going for my 40-piece uh, pattern bundle. All right, guys. Question. To win my ultimate pattern bundle, it has 40 of my crochet patterns on written PDFs, so you can follow along to the written pattern and the video tutorial. All right. Let's see. What number am I on? That's not what I was going to use. Oh, I know what I was going to do. Okay. Let me put my set question. All right. What are these? There's many different kinds. These are just little cute, um, cute ones. What are these? Sometimes I got to give you a little easy one. Oh, I see we already got a lot of answers coming up. Let's scroll back up. Oh, okay, I see the set questions. Thank you guys so much for putting these set questions in. It helps so much. Oh, I see. Melissa Garrett, you just won. You got the quickest little fingers on a keyboard. So you, what did you just win? I forget. Oh, you won my ultimate pattern bundle. Here we go. Write you down. Make sure you email me at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com so I can send you the ultimate pattern bundle because I can't find you, but you can find me and I'll email you back. Melissa. Garrett. Oh my God, we're already in that, uh, done an hour. Oh my goodness. All right, oh, pattern bundle. P bundle. All right. Oh, I'm hot. Now, actually, before I go to the next one, I need a little breather. Let me hop into the comments and see what you guys are doing. Oh, we got a whole bunch of congratulations to Melissa. Like I said, Melissa, make sure you uh, email me. Oh, my goodness. I'm so glad. It looks like all of you guys are having so much fun. All right, we're just going to hop into the next question. How about that? Ooh, bag number seven. Let's see what's in bag number seven. Ooh, this is a novelty yarn. You will get three, four, no, four cakes. Let me pull out two at once of this novelty yarn. Can you see it? You get four cakes of these. Let me show you what a strand would look like. What would you make with this? That's my problem sometimes with novelty yarns. Like I said, I treat them like a museum object. I'll put it on my shelf and let it sit there so beautifully and never use it. What would you make with this? I think, of course, a scarf would probably be my most cute thing. Hmm. Four skeins. So, guys, what are you guys making with this? I'll keep holding it so you can see. Let me scroll down into the comments. Ooh, a cow. Maggie said she would make an. Did it come up? Connie. Oh, Connie says, hey, she's late. Don't worry. We still have a few things left in this giveaway. All you have to do is answer the questions the quickest. So make sure you have your chat section open so you can comment. And guys, also, you can also donate via Super Chat during this whole game show. If you do, it gives me the opportunity to have host more of these. I would like to. I thought about doing it just once a year. 
but if it's successful and I can save them like enough super chat money to do all the shipping, we can do this maybe every other month. It's exciting. Hmm. Okay. We have uh, people said they would make what shawls with it. Okay. All right. Let me pull off Connie's comment. Oh my goodness. Connie, where's your comment? There it is. Let's hide you. So we're going for this yarn. Everybody, since you guys are great, press set for me. Well, I'll press set because I know your fingers are just ready and itching. So I'll do that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ooh. Mm. If this is a cake of yarn, this is a cone of yarn. What is this? One more time. If this is a cake of yarn, this is a cone of yarn. What is this? Do, 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 do. Let's see if we already got some people to answer. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Mmm, looking for the winner. Oh, oh man, it just scrolled up on me. I have to scroll way back up again to find it. It's like all the answers pop up at once on my side of the screen. Everybody got it right so far. I see Hank. That's the answer I'm looking for. Let's see. <laughs> I see some mispronouncing with the fast fingers. I see bank. <laughs> Let's see. Keep scrolling. Why did my scroll stop? Uh-oh, I'm having trouble with my feed. I guess so many people like answered at once, it like froze my uh, feed on this side. I'm gonna have to pull it up on my uh, app for my YouTube. Okay, where's the chat? There we go. Sorry, thank you guys for being so patient with me. It froze on the um uh the apps the uh girl. Oops. Sorry, thank you. It froze here too. It only goes up to uh Amanda on hair. 306. On on this one, it goes up to Courtney. Oh my goodness. I think we broke the chat. How did that happen? Oh man. Okay, so this is going to be the uh, my what's left on my live stream from here. So the winner will be Courtney, the yarn lady closet. I can't find you in the hair, but on here, my last one would be Courtney, the yarn lady closet. She said Hank of yarn. Wow, I think we just broke the chat section on uh, YouTube. Everything is froze up. It won't go up any higher. So, Courtney, please make sure you email me at littlejohnyarns at uh, gmail.com. Let me put your name on a card. I'm always losing something to write with. Where did it go? Oh, bananas. Guys, be patient. I gotta find something else to write with. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, okay. Let me write your name down. Courtney. The yarn ladies closet and guys if you're enjoying this make sure you're subscribing so you can have more fun like this next week's and ones to follow all right i got you down i'll put this in here let's see where we're at on our questions 
And guys, you can always donate through Super Chat to help me have more game shows like this. And the rules of this game show kind of just changed. If the chat freezes like this again, I will choose the winner chosen from my frozen point on my uh, screen. All right. So sorry about that. The earliest frozen point. That's so horrible. All right. Crochet game. Pull up my questions. We are on our very last question. Oh, oh okay. Very last question. Let's spin. Number seven. I thought we did number seven. Actually, ugh. I'm just going to grab something because number seven, I think we've already done. And I don't want to just give you a pattern bundle. So we are with a chance to win. Oh, we have darn good yarn, crochet hook, and knitting needles with two cakes of novelty type yarn. It's almost like the yarn I just showed previously that Courtney won. So you get this and these. So oh, I'm dropping them all over the place. So this is our very last question. So guys, are you ready? I'm going to type set in the comment section. Set. I don't even have to say it. If you are a follower of my channel, what is my favorite crochet hook? I'll allow two answers because I kind of did a little switch just recently. But what is my favorite brand of crochet hook? Hmm. Probably only my true followers will know this one. Oh, wow, a lot of you knew it. Let's see, let me scroll up. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait, this is not the correct answer, but uh, I do love wine. <laughs> Scroll, scroll, scroll. Okay, we got some sets. There we go. Chloe Dubois or Du Bois? I don't know, but you got it right. That is my favorite type of crochet hook. Let me write your. Oh, I'm dropping your stuff on the ground. Let me write your name in and put it in the bag. Chloe Du Bois. Everybody give Chloe a big cheers. Where's my wine goblet? You just won your, what did you win? Oh yeah, those two cakes and the darn good yarn knitting needles and crochet hooks. So make sure you email me at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. Guys, did you enjoy this? Was this fun? That was my very last question. I actually had a blast. And guys, everybody who won, make sure you email me so I can ship you all your cool brand new items. And for next week, I'm gonna email all my moderators. It is, uh, I believe, Labor Day. So Labor Day weekend, I'm not gonna be having a live stream next week. But the week after, we are inviting back uh, Shauna Givens again. That is the Grafgan lady. Just because she's just so much fun. So I'm going to be having a just a chat with her live so you guys can watch. We're going to be talking about what sucks about selling crochet online. Because, you know, it's about to be crochet season again. Crochet season, you need tips and techniques on how to make money in this whole yarn game. And we're going to talk to you about all the things that can go wrong. But you can see people online. It looks like they're going doing so great. Like, wow. Why are they so successful? But behind the scenes, there's a lot of stuff going on. So that's what the two of us were going to be talking about next week. So, all right, guys, let me hop up in the comment and see what's going on. And after that, we're going to just wrap this whole thing up. Uh, Sandy says, congrats, everyone, in that one. 
too much of a delay on my feed for me to enter. I would do this differently if I were me. Should be a random picker used for uh, comments. Unfortunately, Sandy, there is no type of random um, comment picker within a live chat. The only way you can use a random um, comment selector is on a regular pre-recorded uploaded video. If I could, I would try that. It's almost like a lottery slash speed contest. Hey, at least we all get a chance to win something fun. Here we go. Let's see. Let me unhighlight yours. Aw, Lillian said, great show, hat, lots of fun. Oh, thank you. Here we go. Thank you, Alicia. Uh, you had fun. Thank you for joining us, Valerie. Carrie said, good content for our next live chat. Yes, I can't wait to have Shauna back. She was one of the most requested people to come back to my channel. She is such a joy to be on, and she's just a natural. Sierra says, I was crocheting between the questions. Oh, good job. There we go. There we go. Here we go. Donnie says, it seems like we should, it seems like we should be from our feeds, but it goes by hers and she sees something than us, but it was still a blast. I understand what you guys, I do see a different, I probably do see a different uh, live chat feed than you do. I couldn't figure out any better way to run this game show. I was thinking maybe running a contest within the community section, like pick two people out of my viewers and just have those two people on my live stream. Would that make sense? So you see three heads of us and just have those two people compete against each other and win. But this way, I at least had the opportunity to invite all of you guys to participate in it. There we go. All right, guys. All right. Well, I guess we wrap it up here. Thank you so much for joining me on this live stream. Like I said, next week I am going on a little vacation, but the week after, join me and Shauna Givens as we talk about the hardships of running your own crochet business. And make sure you check out my brand new book I just finished writing. That link will be down in the description box below. That is called The Secret to Selling Crochet. All right, guys. I will see you all on the very next live stream or tutorial. Bye.